Good day, everyone. We in the field of education during this COVID-2019 home quarantine is continuing to find ways to serve our learners. So we conceptualize some online lessons. The City Schools Division of Das Marinas initiated a project called Project COVID Mask. This is competencies and online video instructional design in mathematics to augment the remaining competencies in our fourth quarter. I am Cheryl M. Esguera from San Miguel Elementary School, headed by our school principal, Mrs. Margarita A. Sapida, and supervised with our public schools district supervisor, Dr. Emily L. Bilanio. Together with our education program supervisor in mathematics, Mrs. Rowena R. Cariaga. Our lesson for today is all about experimental probability. Our lesson objective, solve routine and non-routine problems involving experimental probability. Learning competency code, mathematics 5, simple probability that's fourth, J-17. Our lesson for this morning is all about experimental probability. When we say probability, that is the mathematics of chance. When we do something, we are expecting a result by chance, or we are not certain of what the result will be. In probability, we call it an experiment. The uncertain result is called an outcome. In real life, whenever we do an experiment, two things can happen, either the one that we expect or the one that we do not. When the result is what we expected, then it is the favorable outcome. Experimental probability, it is the ratio between the number of times the event occurs and the total number of trials. It is determined by doing an experiment. Okay, this is our formula, how we're going to get uh, the experimental probability. EP or experimental probability is equal to number of times the event occurs over total number of trials. Okay, this is our problem. The table below shows the result of a card experiment. Each time a card was picked, it was returned to the bed. Okay, card experiment, we have outcome and number. Okay, for outcome, we have blue, 27 trials, green, 15 trials, red, 8 trials with a total of 50 trials. And we're going to answer the questions that follows. Okay, these are the questions that we're going to answer. Number one, how many trials of picking a card were made? Number two, how many times was blue card picked? Number three, what is the experimental probability of picking a red card? And the last one is, if 10 blue cards were in the bag, how many green cards would you predict were there? To solve routine and non-routine problem, we should follow some steps in solving the problem. Okay, the first step is understand. We should know what is asked in the problem. For today's problem, we have four questions. Okay, the first one is the number of trials made by picking a card. The second one is the number of times the blue card was picked. The third one is the experimental probability of picking a red card. And the last one is the number of predicted green cards if 10 blue cards were in the bag. Okay, then after that, after we know what is asked in the problem, then it is a time that we are going to know what are the given facts in the problem. Okay, in our prob uh, problem for today, this is a card experiment. Okay, we have an outcome and a number. Outcome, we have blue. Number of times trial is 27, for green, this is 15, and for red, it is 8. So, what are the given facts in the problem? 27 blue cards, 15 green cards, and 8 red cards were picked. 
after we understand the problem, we know already what is asked, what are the given facts in the problem, then the next step is to plan. Okay, what strategy can we use to solve the problem? Okay, for our problem for today, we can conduct the experiment of picking a card, returning it to the bag, and recording the result. Applying the formula also could be a good help. After planning, then this is the next step we're going to solve. Okay, in our problem, the first question is, how many trials of picking a card were made? Okay, to get the answer of that question, we're going to just add the number of blue, green, and red cards. That is 27 plus 15 plus 8. This is equal to 50, 50 trials. For question number two, how many times was blue card picked? Okay, the blue card was picked 27 times as recorded in the table. For the third question, what is the experimental probability of picking a red card? Okay, a red card was picked eight times out of 50 trials. Hence, our formula is uh, experimental probability is equal to the number of times a red card was picked over the total number of trials. This is equal to 8 over 50. Then we are going to reduce 8 over 50 to its lowest term. We're going to divide it by 2. 8 divided by 2, the answer is 4. 50 divided by 2, the answer is 25. So our experimental probability of picking a red card is 4 over 25. Okay, the next question, the last question. If 10 blue cards were in the bag, how many green cards would you predict? Okay, based on the provided results, picking up a blue card is about twice the chance of picking up a green card. So the answer is the number of green cards may be five, half of the blue card. Okay, after we get the solution to our problem, then this is the time that we're going to check or look back. Okay, for our problem for today, appropriate application of pattern or formula in getting the experimental probability will make our answers correct. Okay, as our generalization for today, we have here steps in solving routine and non-routine problems. Okay, first is we're going to understand the problem. Under understanding, we should know what is asked in the problem, what are the given facts in the problem. Okay, after that, we're going to plan. Okay, under planning, we should know what are the strategy or what is the strategy that we're going to use to solve the problem. Then, what operation or operations that we're going to use in the problem and what is the number sentence. Okay, if we have already a plan, then we can solve the problem or we can carry out the plan. If we have already the solution to our problem, then next is we can check or look back the process, whether our answer is correct or reasonable. Okay, these are the things that we should remember in solving routine and non-routine problems. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for watching our video for today. Hope that you learned something from it. Until next time.